back at it again with another, uh, you know, macro beer, but this time from Japan. Beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Maple Ruski, for another Ruski Ruski review. And today, the beer I have for you is from Japan. This is Sapporo in a big, massive 650 ml can. Probably the most interesting macro beer cans around, just at least styling wise. Very, very nice. <clears throat> coming in, this premium beer is coming in at 5% alcohol by volume and an unlisted. IBUs. Did I say Japan? It says Vietnam. For the longest time I thought I was from Japan. But this is product of Vietnam. I'll do a little bit of research. Maybe I don't know everything that I think I do. Which is fine. Let's crack it open. See what we got. Unlisted IBUs. Jesus, that's the most difficult, weirdest pull tab in the world. Um, IBUs, nothing listed here on the website, but untapped is showing Sapporo coming in at 24 IBUs. Let's pour it up into my Sada City pint glass and see what we got. Now, Sapporo is one of the beers where I never really got into it. I've had a couple throughout my uh, drinking career, but never really, uh, you know, dove right in kind of thing to it but I hear you know good good things about it so I'm uh, quite excited to have it again looking at it just like all other macro beers you can see my face right through it and I can see the camera because it's clear as day nice white head on top as well so untapped is classifying it as a lager pale quite nice let's have a smell it smells like a macro lager a little funky you know, you got some light butterscotch, a lot of grain, some bread, some sourdough bread smells, or sorry, aromas. But yeah, pretty basic of a smell. Let's have a sip now. Sweet, light, airy. It's not bad. It's quite going, quite, quite easy going, sorry, quite refreshing as well. Very, very light mouthfeel, but very sweet uh, for a beer, um, to be quite honest. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Mm hmm. Definitely a lighter beer. Even in flavor, uh, it, it's a bit lighter. It's not uh, super, I guess, diverse. And in flavors that, that I'm getting at least, uh, it's not too bad though. It's, it's easy going, good flavor, nothing offensive about it, which is always really, really nice to see as well. Nice looking color, it's just, just a nice, nice macro lager that, uh, you know, if you want something different or you just stand out just a little bit, but you're not really going for the craft beer scene yet, not a bad option. Mm hmm. Not too bad of an option. Looking on the can, this massive 650 ml can, really, really cool. Definitely points for style. Uh, silver, gold star, a little bit of leaf, uh, barley and hops kind of thing. Very nice. Poro premium beer. Voila. 5% ABV, no listed IBUs, no listed. Oh, I lied. LO218. There is a brewed on date though. L02, December 2nd of 2018. Good on you, Sapporo. But on the other end, uh, product of Vietnam, return for refund, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> no other ingredients, no description, just Sapporo and a brewed on date, which I actually like a lot. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Moving over to the website, Sapporo Premium Beer. You. The beer, it, they just have the one, it seems. Sapporo's iconic can, this one. The mark of excellence, reserved for the unique. Scroll down a little bit more. With age comes distinction. Japan's oldest beer, brewed since 1876. So I was right. It was Japan. But I don't know why it says product of Vietnam. 
Maybe it's brewed in Vietnam now, or parts depending on the, br the beer and depending on where you are, it's brewed in different places, but this product of Vietnam, interesting. And on the bottom, because it's like the website, you'll see because there's a link in the description, but it, you scroll down and this lifts up to like a pint of beer, like it's like beer, something like that. If that makes sense, you'll see it on the website down below. Next bit is crisp taste, refreshing flavor, refined bitterness, clean finish, and unmastered. Or, or clean finish, mastered. Sorry, not unmastered. I'm reading more different words than what's on the page. I had a long week where we're not going to get into it. And finally, the distinct malt flavor commands your taste buds from the first sip to the last drop. I have to say, it is a very nice beer. It does have some really good flavor. Very sweet, light butterscotchery sweetness. Very nice white sweet bread. But on the nose, you get that more of a sourdough bread. So a little bit of yin and yang almost for the bread department. But yeah, very sweet, even light syrupy sweet almost. Uh, it's not too bad though. Nice, something very, very unique. Other than that, you have videos, you have events that are happening in Toronto and Vancouver and Quebec. Canadian events. I guess that involves Sapporo somehow. Maybe sponsors, stuff like that. Quite interesting. And then just links to Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for uh, for Sapporo. Nice looking website. A little bit of information about the beer, but not 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 anything great like uh, uh, what you would call it, like craft beer websites. Duh. That's the word I'm trying to look for. As for pricing for Sapporo, for this 650 ml can, it's four dollars at the LCBO. You can also buy a six pack of 355 ml bottles or milliliter bottles for $12.95 through your LCBO. For anybody that's not in Ontario that watches my videos, the LCBO is a liquor control board of Ontario or the LICBO. You have your own sort of things. Ontario has their own weird sort of beer, spirit, alcohol, beverage place, which can be very good or very bad depending on how you look at it. Still, easy going beer. No real complaints about it. Just, just really, realistically, for me, a little too sweet. If you want a sweet beer, Sapporo is definitely where you want to go. But other than that, really good flavor. Like I said, nothing offensive about it. Mm -hmm. Not too shabby. Finally, moving over to Untapped Sapporo Premium Beer has been given a 3.16 bottle caps out of 5. That's out of a whopping 241,000 ratings. The ABV listing on here is also 4.7. And there is a little bit of a description on here. I don't think from the website, but at least from, uh, from somebody else. And it says, ABV ranges from 4.7 to 5 ABV, depending on the market. With lush uses of aroma, uh, with lush use of aroma, hops, Sapporo Premium has an amazingly crisp taste, refreshing flavor, and refined bitterness to leave a clean finish. Whether in your iconic silver can, like we have here, um, that is, oh, that is long loved by our American fans, in bottles or on tap, Sapporo Premium can be enjoyed for any occasion. I have to say. Not a bad, not a bad beer. Just for me, just a little, a little too sweet. So cheers on the final sip, guys. Let's get right to ratings. Mm. Sapporo. Super sweet for me. But still really crisp, really, cre yeah, really clean. Great flavor. I just, uh... I don't know. I don't really have any uh, bad things to say about this beer, to be honest. It, it, it's, you know, it's delightful to drink. You don't feel like you're drinking anything, uh, you know, cheap. You know, it's really well put together. Um, the sweetness definitely takes over a lot of the other flavors. A lot of the bready notes, stuff like that. Like I said, when I say sweetness, I like a very, very light butterscotch, even somewhat like a light syrupy sweetness. Um, that's sort of what I'm getting from this beer. It's not bad. It's really good. It's just, for me, a little too sweet. But as far as macro beers go, pretty top-notch stuff. So in that regard, Sapporo gets a solid, you know, it gets a solid 7 out of 10. I'm quite pleased with this beer. Very, very well done. 
And you know what? For a lager, really nice lacing on the glass as well. Quite nice indeed. As for presentation, there's not a lot of information on here, but as far as macro beers go, having a legible brewed on date, top notch. And in this very stylish, very, you know, unique can design, even better. As for the website, very nice website, very, very flashy, looks more like an underground uh, party scene to be honest, just, just the aesthetics and all the pictures that they have going on here. Um, information is a little bit lackluster, but you know, you got a little bit here and there, so not too bad. Presentation gets a solid, gets a solid 5 out of 10, mainly because of the can and that brewed on date. Well guys, with all that said, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want me to review in the future, you can leave all the information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruski, that would be greatly appreciated as well. Like we always... And that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruski, and like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. And now is the outro time where I pour my beer into my glass and sing a song and sit on my ass until the beer is in here and then I drink it off camera. Because everybody likes a little bit of a song at the end of a nice video. Cheers, guys. Have a great one.